As a child I was made to walk the plank. We couldn't afford a dog. Shaven butcher? Trivago. Welcome. We're doing a shave today. Pretty, pretty nice one, I think. Face is prepped. Um, bulldog sensitive. Pre-shave, uh, well, face wash and uh, homemade pre-shave. The cold pressed almond oil and tea tree oil. Um, we're doing this soap today. Son of a, no, son of honeysuckle from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. So that's Wonder Woman being eaten by a honeysuckle. Interesting artwork as per usual. Um, yeah, my son got this first, so he's, he's used it. I haven't. Interesting. So this soap has been around for a while. It's it's like a summer tradition to release it or something. I, I haven't seen it before, but I don't follow soaps very carefully. But this is the first time with the CK6 formula. Oh, a formula! Paladin brush. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Yeah. 20 car member millimeter badger so gonna load with that the honeysuckle actually is um, I'm not gonna I shouldn't say my favorite flower because <clears throat> I don't really have one and I'm not sure it's a flower well it, it is a flower when they're blooming but it's what is it is it a bush is it a man? What is it? But it's it's beautiful. Uh, we have them a lot around here on the west coast of Sweden, and um, they're cool, mother. Yeah, tough, tough plants they are. They grow, they grow a lot on uh, just by the sea, close to close to water, on cliffs where there's basically no no dirt, no nothing. But they've they find a little bit of of land to grow on they they do it and they're strong and they survive storms and yeah they're, they're a cool little thing if you don't know what a honeysuckle is check it out but you can see the f the flower on the on the cover or whatever you call it of the video if i forget to put if i remember to put it there is a flower from a honeysuckle from my garden today. It's like the second bloom because they bloomed already and now they're on it one more time and they are beautiful. And they have a nice scent, although it's a, it's a bit tricky to, it's gonna need a lot of water. A lot of water. Yeah, so nice scent, but it's, Not that powerful. This, I believe, is a Japanese honeysuckle flower. And I've never smelled a, never smelled one before, as far as I know. Do they grow in America, in Arizona? Probably not. Wow, that's, uh, that's a, that's a soap. I was gonna say that's a soap that requires a lot of water, but I may have overloaded massively, so I wouldn't say that. But you can see, well, of course, this thing, this thing sucks up everything. It's not a honeysuckle, but it's a, it's a lather suckle. <laughs> Beautiful scent. I, I didn't, it didn't wow me when I opened. The, the lid the first time when I got it a few days ago. My son loved it straight away and he's used to it as I said and he he really enjoyed it and he enjoyed the soap base as well. What does he know? What do anyone of us know? 
we're told it's great it's better than the last one so that's what we believe except the few of you who actually analyze these things and test them properly and rate the soaps etc beautiful smell the only other PAA soap I have smelled of figs, so I love love shaving with it. But I'm not a big fan of this of the scent. Sorry, <laughs> soap in mouth tastes like soap. Okay, focus. Got a shitload of of lather, that's for sure. Oops. Now we have a shitload of agua. Good. Looking pretty, pretty nice. Might we be ready? Yeah, I've lost that super thick feeling that I don't like. a nice shine to it wow cool awesome so far so far wow but then i know i'm supposed to be wowed most of you guys tried the new formula ages ago i'm a late adapter so i'm trying it today okay racer today probably won't work so i i have a backup um but it's the it's the very wedge lindner and co from sheffield i just i just find this razor so beautiful came a bit rusty and uh, i cleaned it up horn scales broken i fixed those you can still see wear so yeah cool this one um it's supposed to go to to the holding stone but i was watching eric latta at adventures in wet shaving strop the shit out of a racer on chromium oxide crocs i thought i'd try that because that's not at all like a finishing stone but it, it improves the edge quite a bit I don't think it worked or or did it maybe maybe it's tuggy but it's an old wedge so those tend to be a bit tuggy maybe I'll do a first pass with it and we'll see it's bound to be removing some hairs, yeah. Can you see? Can you see? There's hair in there, so it's working. May not be comfortable enough for pass number two, which is against the grain. But if it cuts hair, we can do we can do one pass or at least half a pass. Oops. <gasps> That's a badger hair. Can you imagine that? Haven't been in a good mood today. Um, had a bit of Sunday angst. It's a bit of shit going on at work or problems going, that need to be resolved that are a bit unusual and nasty so I tend to think about that because I have to deal with them tomorrow morning and it's going to take weeks and it's going to be uh, so not looking forward to going to work tomorrow and it ruined my Sunday a bit silly but And 
then sometimes when you're in a bad mood and you're oh, you start thinking about other shit too like for how many years will I be able to do this and, and walk and stuff but primarily this so no point in thinking about it but sometimes you get into a negative spiral and you think about dead kittens and <laughs> a little bit of a struggle with this racer it's cutting hair but it has to fight or we're fighting together My wife is helping me to keep my mind off stuff because she's in a cleaning mood and a cleaning mode. You know, like a robot. So, but it's a little bit dry. I should have moisturized the leather a bit better. More? More? He rinses off? I don't know. Uh, once a year, she goes from cabinet to cabinet, or cupboard, or whatever it's called, and takes out everything. Everything. Takes it out, cleans it if it needs cleaning, or cleans the, the cabinet, and then decides what to keep and what not to keep. And it's a necessary exercise, well, maybe not every year, but every once in a while, right? It's like we were thinking of buying new cupboards, bigger ones for the master bathroom. You don't have to, because we went through stuff and threw half or more of sh the shit in there away. And now we have plenty of space. So, you, you do need to do it, but it's like, oh shit, so, because we have to help participate. And sometimes it's our stuff, we being me and the children. Ah. Wow, yeah, cool soap, that's for sure. So I'm wondering, should I, should I do, no, I'll change razors. It's not worth it, why have an uncomfortable shave? Okay. Lovely, lovely, lovely scent. I'm really glad I got this. I got another one. I think I showed it in latest video. Um, PAA, fairly new as well. So we're trying that out next, probably. Who does the, who takes initiative to cleaning at your house? And I, I don't mean vacuuming. I've never taken initiative in my life to vacuum, I think, actually. Um, but more these cleaning out things. Who does it? Is it you or is it your wife? Wade and Butcher. Extra hollow. Extra hollow. Bit of a beauty, this one. Yep, we're doing that against the grain on the second pass. Ah, that's better. Wow. That is better, and that is a slick soap. My, my lord.
That is a good soap. Okay, I understand what you guys have been on about. scent just keeps improving. Really stable scent, it doesn't change like some soaps do. You know, throughout the shave and when you add more or less water. This one's very stable, which is nice. Very nice, very good. Yeah, so a lot of cleaning today. I had to mow the lawn. Grass is growing a lot slower now, but I there will be a few a few more goings over. Before the snow comes. Ah, oh, it's lovely. Oh, I was watching Jill today. Jill, she shaves with Jill. You know who it is. If you don't, you should check her out. She shaves with the Jill. So she has not even had her channel for a year. And she's way over 400 subscribers on their way to 500. Would be pretty cool if she hits 500 before the end of the first year, which is end August, I think she said. So if you don't subscribe, check her out and consider subscribing. Oh. Ah, soapy nose. Ah, that's cool. That's really... Got myself in the corner of the mouth there. That's neither here nor there. I do that every other time because I have a wrinkle or something and it's just almost impossible to get, a, get it perfect, perfectly shaved without a bit of blood. razor really well so I know I know when the soap is good and soap is good jeez today. And you need a, a workout so the, um, the dopamine level in the body is not the highest. <laughs> that affects the shave a, a, a bit. Okay, last little bit. Put a teeny bit of water on because otherwise it gets too dry. Yeah, I need a wetter lather next time. Then I can imagine how crazy good it is because it's good already when it's a bit on the dry side, in my, my opinion. Or maybe it just looks dry, I don't know. We'll see.
problems. Yeah, this is slicker than... Yeah, don't grade stuff on the first attempt, but wow, that's slick. That's grooming department slick. Trying a bit of an angle. Perfect, really good. Really very good. You know, sometimes it's it's the fact that you're having a good day or a bad day that sort of dictates what you feel about the gear you use, like the soap. So So I'll be using this one and the the other one, the Kopali. Um, which may be next video, but I'll, I'll be using these for a while um, and see if they perform as good every time because that was That was good That was really good. Okay, cold water rinse bear with I'll get it off. <laughs> I have to use warm water. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Pretty nice. Okay, we'll try a bit of alum. Don't think I've showed you that before. Not that it matters much, but I, I this is the box it came in. And it's Taylor of Old Bond Street. I did not know. Yeah, it stings a bit, but very little. Very little, in spite of the fact that it was that it was very good and very close. So that's cool. Oh, I will be going to England this upcoming week, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Liverpool and London. Very quick in and out. I fly to Manchester and then try and find a train to go to Liverpool and meet a, a customer there and then train down to Euston. Ha, ah, Smiths. Um, Euston station and then uh, staying in London, having a meeting, two meetings on Wednesday. So not a lot of time to do social stuff or shop for soaps or things like that, but it's always always nice to go to the UK. Rinse the alum off. was good and with a faulty racer on the first pass. Stetson. Wow. Yeah, you smell like a man with this stuff on, that's for sure. lovely stuff cool thank you for watching really appreciate it i hope you got something out of that if nothing else you spend time with me thank you appreciate it and guys and gals 
stay sharp.